All right, in today's Entertainment City, Prince Harry's big moving plans involving Meghan Markle and a palace. But first, we are talking to Scarlett Johansson about Ghost in the Shell, her new blockbuster that's caught up in a whitewashing controversy. Why can't I feel my body? Your body was damaged. We couldn't save it. Only your brain survived. I had no idea how influential the, the work was. I mean, I knew the title, of course. Ever since Scarlett Johansson was cast as the part cyborg crime-fighting major in Ghost in the Shell, the remake of the iconic Japanese anime has been overshadowed by whitewashing accusations. Many critics argue the role of major should be played by an Asian actress. The issue has sparked heated debate online. Even the director of the original anime film adaptation, Mamoru Oshii, is speaking out about it, but in support of Johansson's casting, saying there's no real issue because the character is a cyborg and, quote, her physical form is an entirely assumed one. When our Terry Hart caught up with the cast, she asked director Rupert Sanders about the controversial casting. You said nobody else other than Scarlett. Why? I mean, you just have to look. There's very few people who can do what she does. There's one or two in every generation, and, and we were lucky enough to get one. But I came to this as a fan. I worked very hard to, to make sure that things I was doing were were honoring the original. You are no stranger to putting yourself through the paces for roles. Where does this one rank? Oh, oh gosh, this one ranks at the top probably. <laughs> Just, you know, it was a lot making this film. I had a young child, I was still nursing. I had this huge, like, physical demand. The film was very emotionally challenging. It was a lot, but it was, it was a good lot. But then you're in that suit. Just give people an idea. Did you have to baby powder up? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, a wetsuit, but it requires some talcum powder and like a second person to help you into it. It's like hot when you want it to be cold. It's like freezing when you need it to be warm. But it was like some man designed this suit, right? I just want to make sure I got that right. Let's be clear. Totally impractical. Looks great though. They created me, yet they cannot control me. We'll be hearing more from ScarJo and her co-stars later this week in Entertainment City. Prince Harry's in a hurry to move his girlfriend Meghan Markle into his Kensington Palace apartment, at least according to reports. Word is the royal has been renovating an apartment in the palace where he plans to live with the American actress who he's been dating since last summer. The new apartment is supposedly near the wing of the palace where the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, along with little Prince George and Princess Charlotte, will be moving permanently later this year, meaning Harry and Meghan would be William and Kate's next door neighbors. Nothing to worry about. That's what Antonio Banderas wants his fans to know regarding that heart attack he had in late January. Over the weekend, the 56-year-old told Spanish media that the heart attack, quote, wasn't serious and hasn't caused any damage, adding that it wasn't as dramatic as some have made it out to be. There has been speculation about his health after he was spotted visiting a Swiss clinic recently. Banderas says he did undergo a procedure to place three stents in his arteries to help keep them clear. He might be calling it a playlist, but Drake's More Life still debuted at number one on the album's chart. This is the Six Gods' seventh record to land in top spot on the Billboard 200. Plus, More Life claims the title of biggest one-week total for an album so far this year, and the highest sales since Drake's last album, Views, dropped last year. And coming up tomorrow, we'll have my chat with Jessica Chastain about her new drama, The Zookeeper's Wife.